Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2022 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make a base shake or a base drop or a base movement, so to speak, when you're syncing up video and music. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Watch this here. See what we're doing there? As it comes to the, when the beat hits, we shake it, we rotate it, and we do it very, very easy. It's easy to do. I'm going to walk you through it step by step. So let's just go ahead and delete all of this noise. We're going to go create a new project right here, and we're going to go through it one by one. And I'm just going to call it, eh, we'll just call it Untitled because I'm lazy, whatever. I'm going to go into my Finder, I'm going to get the video, and I'm going to get the audio. Drop them in. Ah, oh, come on, Curtis, you can do better than that. Let's try that again. There we go. All right, cool. I'm going to drop the video on first, and there's our video track. And I'm going to stop it around 12 seconds because I don't want this to be a long tutorial. The second step is I'm going to take the music, and I'm going to drop it underneath the video. Now, first step, I'm going to go ahead and we'll trim it. So I'm going to trim it to the length of the video. So there we go. They're uh, matched, but you'll also see here that well, it's really, really loud. This I'm just using some stock music, but it was recorded super loud. So I'm going to go right-click on the audio if you're following along with me. Let's try that again. I'm going to right-click on the audio, and I'm going to reduce the gain considerably. So audio gain, and then I'm going to reduce, I'm going to set, uh, I'm going to adjust the gain by minus 10. So these are just steps if you've got really loud audio or you're doing a tutorial and you don't want to freak people out. Okay, we're on our way. Let's get going. Let's see what we got here. Okay. So you hear that? That's where the bait drops around five seconds. So what you want to do is I'm going to make sure I'm clicked out of everything here. I'm going to hit space bar. And every time I hear a beat drop, I'm going to press the letter M. That means marker. Here we go. Okay, so we got three. That's enough for the tutorial, although we could go on and on and on. But here we go. We've got three markers, and they're all up here. Do keep in mind, if you're clicked on the video track or if you're clicked on the audio track, let me show you what happens. If I hit the M here, you'll notice that the marker is applied to the audio track. You don't want that. So you want to be clicked off everything when you hit the M button for the markers. Okay, now we're on our way. The next step is we're going to create an adjustment layer. So you'll see here, I'm going to, uh, let's try that again. I'm going to drag and drop this out. Let's see if I could just get this right. Okay, not that one. Let's try this one. We're going to move it slowly but surely. And presto, at the bottom here, you're going to see this little new bin. And you're also going to see a few options. I'm going to click on new bin. Actually, you know what? I'm not even going to click on new bin. That was a mistake. I'm going to delete that. I'm going to drag this out a little further. That's the one I wanted. New item, not new bin. Come on, Curtis. Left click, new item. And we're going to create an adjustment layer. Notice here the adjustment layer is the same width and height and frame rate of the uh, sequence. So there we go. It creates a default five second uh, adjustment layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the first marker. So I'm going to hold down the shift key so that I get an exact placement. So if you hold down the shift key, it's going to go from marker to marker to marker. So holding down the shift key I drag it and then I'm gonna take the adjustment layer and I'm gonna move it right here to the end so I'm gonna go ahead and add in that adjustment layer now here's the thing with this adjustment layer it's five seconds long by default although yours might be different if you've adjusted it but all I want to work with is four frames so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have the, I've got the uh, playhead selected I'm gonna hit the arrow key four times one two three four that's all I want. I want four frames to do the beat and do the bass little thingy dingy and do the shake. So we've got four frames of the adjustment layer. All right. I cut it. To cut it is Command K or Control K if you're on a PC. And now we've got an adjustment layer is four frames long. I'm going to now left click on the adjustment layer and I'm going to go now into my effects and I'm going to add an effect. So what you want to do is you want to go to your effects panel. And if you don't see it, make, just go to Window and make sure there's a check mark beside Effects and type in Transform. Transform. Okay. 
Autobots transform, and I'm going to use the first one here. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the adjustment layer, presto, just like that. And then when I go to the effect controls panel, you're going to see transform is selected and available. Now, here's what we're going to do. At the beginning, when the beat drops, I want it to jar forward. So how you do that is you want to make an adjustment to your scale. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to left click on transform and then going down a little bit I'm going to go to scale height and scale width. This is the new transform option and it allows us to adjust the scale both on both the X and the Y here. So I'm going to left click scale height scale width and I'm also going to left click on well I'm not going to do that yet I'm going to do scale height and scale width. Right when it hits you're going to notice here that I want the height I'm going to do it to about 135. I'm really going to overdo it just to sell you on the effect, to show you what the effect looks like. You guys can do whatever you want, but here's an example. And then I'm going to scale the width to 135. So it's in proportion. Okay, good. So here's what happens. Right now, you see that? You'll see right when the beat hits, bang. It goes in and then it comes back out. That might be all you need. That might be the effect, and that's all you need for those four seconds. It could be a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead here, and I'm going to show you another option. So I'm going to left-click back on that adjustment layer, and watch this. I'm going to go back to Transform, and I'm also going to do a slight rotation on the beginning. So when it hits, it's going to rotate. It's going to be at zero rotation. I'm going to go forward one frame. I'm going to rotate it to minus, just let's go minus five. And then I'm going to move forward one more frame. I'm going to go to plus 5, so we're rotating it and we're scaling it, and then when it hits, well, it'll go back to 0. So now, we're going to go to fit and watch this. Okay, that's getting there. So it goes in, scales in, scales back out. Eh, not perfect, but it's pretty cool. And that is actually all there is to it to making it. Now, you can go ahead and go on the adjustment layer here and you can make you know transform it and make other changes if you want to for example start it at z at a hundred like let's start it at the scale is no scale to it so it's gonna scale to zero it's gonna be scaled at 100 so it's at exactly where it's supposed to be right when it starts and then after let's say one frame it goes to like hundred and twenty so we'll bring it up to 120 and then after the next frame we're going to hit 140. This is a more gradual as opposed to just like a big boom or a big you know jump in and jump out and then it'll go back oh, let's go back to 140. You'll see here what I'm working on but these are just some of the options and different ways that you can go ahead and make adjustments as you see fit. Now let's see what this one looks like. Okay that looks really good. So that's how you make a base shake effect or a boom effect, or a beat drop effect, whatever you want to call it, in Premiere Pro. Very, very simple. If you want to make copies of it, I'm just going to zoom in here. Let's go ahead and zoom in a bit. There we go. Click on the click on the um, adjustment layer. Hold down your Alt key or your Option key, and the Shift. Well, I just hold down the Alt and the Option key, and then boom, you've got a you've got a copy. Drop it on the next one. Hold down the Alt key. Drop it on the final one, and now all of a sudden. All of your stuff has the effect applied to it. Bang. There you go. That's how you do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.